gonna get into this. We're gonna do this real quick. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is because actually I wanted to do a little short um, update review on the whole mall gaming chair. Now this is gonna be simple and fast um, actually because I had this chair for a while and I wanted to do an update review. I did one in November talking about the chair. Is it worth buying for a hundred bucks? And honestly, yes, it still is. Now, you can kind of hear that and stuff. And it is not the best comfortable chair. The arms don't go up. They stay at the same spot. The pillow slides down. But other than that, it's a gaming chair. I can actually lay back and just game and sit and get comfortable. Now, I have seen reviews on this chair, and this is not a $400 chair. I'm not comparing it to, but it's something to get you by. Um, I did have a sponsorship come to me and ask me to do an update, uh, do a review on their chair. So we'll see how that goes, and I will let you guys know if I do get it or not. So I said, why not? Um, I do want to get the Secret Lab gaming chair. Now, this chair is about $350 to $400 and is probably the most comfortable chair that I have seen from videos that it is a great, good chair for if you're going to be sitting and gaming for a long time. Now, this chair is okay, and yes, there's flaws and things about this chair. I don't give it 100%. It, it was hard to put together. The screws did not line up, but it's just something just to get you by, and if you don't have that money to spend that much four hundred dollars this is the chair now this chair is got negatives but it's also got pluses um the leather is in very good shape there's no wrinkles there's no tears there's no ripply there's no ripples no nothing so it doesn't have a smell that i know of so i haven't had any like chemical smells from the leather when i bought the chair so it was a little difficult to put together, like I said, because the screws did not line up very good. It was very kind. It took about 30 to 45 minutes. So um, after a while, the arms do kind of loosen up and stuff. So you kind of have to retighten it. But honestly, this chair has not fell apart yet. And I had it for almost for a year. So that kind of tells you right there that it's not a bad chair for 100 bucks. Yes, it's not the best comfortable gaming chair. Um, at first, I, when I first sat in it, I was kind of like, mm. but I kind of adjust to it, work my frame into it. I'm 5'8", 180 pounds, so this chair works good for now. And when I do game or watch something on YouTube or something, I can pull the chair back and just get comfy. So, it does come with the lumbar pillow. Uh, it does come with the pillow and the lumbar support. Um, it's not the best thing, but hey, it keeps my posture straight and up. So, um, yeah, I just want to do a little short update review on my Holmar gaming chair. If you guys want to check this chair out, I'll put it down in the description below for 100 bucks. And if you guys want to see the video, I'll put the, the video down below where I did it like in November. So, it's been almost a year. Not yet, because it's not November yet, but um, I'd say about 10, 10 months. So, it's it's been that long and it's still lasting. Now, I, like I said, I would like to get another gaming chair that's more, better, comfortable. If I'm going to be sitting in gaming or editing for at least four, five, six, seven hours of what I'm doing in this chair, I recommend you get a better chair than this. So, if you want something that's, you know, to get you by, to get the bang for the buck, uh, this is the chair. So, yeah, the arms don't move, but for me, it wasn't a big, uh, big thing. It does move freely. It does make little sounds. So as long as you don't move around a lot, um, but I have sat in some gaming chairs that are really loud with the leather at Fry's Electronics. I sat in this $350 chair and it was super loud. I was like, I can't get it because I, there's no way I could do videos and like this and you guys would not hear me making sounds. So that's about it guys. Short little review. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're almost at 4,100 subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching and hitting that thumbs up. All right, guys. I will check you guys later.